Good morning, everybody. There we go. Had a nice little bit of music there to start us off. Now, hopefully, hopefully you can see that I am back in school and I'm very, very happy to welcome you all back to Heronshaw School for our next assembly. Now, hopefully the sound is working. Hopefully if somebody can put in the comments, if you could hear the music this morning, then I know that the music and everything is fine with the audio because I will be needing my audio going via my phone through in a few seconds. So here we are in the entrance area. It is lovely to be back in school. I can see lots and lots of people saying that they're already here and watching. Music is okay. Thank you very much for that. Perfect that you can hear it. So we've got Fadil who's in, we've got Zara, we've got Maya, we've got Elijah and Aliyah. Lots and lots of people saying good morning. Dominicas as well. Lovely to see all of you making comments on the screen ready for our assembly. Now I've also brought my little friend back. Now there you go, I've got Wesley Bear, I brought him back. He's my teddy bear for 20 years. So he's here to keep me company this morning in a very, very quiet school. There are only a couple of members of staff who are busy doing some very important jobs in school today. And so we are going to go through lots and lots of exciting things. This morning in assembly, I've got the awards to go through. So nine special Star of the Week awards to give out. They will be given out in a moment. I've also got the riddle answers from last week. So if you were watching last week's assembly, then you'll know that I asked you to try and work out the answer to five riddles. And I've got those to do in just a moment. I've also got lots of photographs to show. So some of the teachers have been sending me photographs so I can share some of those as well. And I have to say that on the Facebook page, wow, Wow. I had a really lovely day the other day going through all the photographs and commenting on some people's pictures, the work that you've been doing at home, the wonderful models, drawings, pieces of writing, really, really being creative. So that's really nice to see as well. Now, I do want to start with my riddles. So I'm going to go through. I've got them written down here to remind me. OK, now the first riddle that I asked you last week was what gets wetter? the more that it dries. And lots and lots of you got the answer correct with that. The thing that gets wetter as it dries is a towel. So well done if you got that one correct. Now the next one, it was, what is the word that's spelt wrong in the dictionary? And of course, the one word that's spelt wrong is the word wrong. There you go. All right. Quiz, uh, the riddle number three, what has to be broken before you can use it? And we had some interesting answers there. But the thing that you need to break before you can use it is an egg. So if you got that one right, well done. OK, the next one. What season is it when you jump on a trampoline? Of course, it's spring. Springtime is when you jump on a trampoline. OK, Number five, what falls but never gets hurt? And I have to say that some of you came up with some really interesting ideas. The answer to that one, the thing that falls that never gets hurt is the rain. But some people said leaves as well. And I think that's quite good, actually, because leaves do fall. And I'm sure they don't get hurt on the way down. So well done. If you got all five of those correct, then you did a really, really good job. Now, moving on, because I've got my star of the weeks. Let's see what we've got here. Got lots of good mornings. I can see good morning from Bastian, good morning from Lily, good morning from Florence and Jacob as well. So hello to all those people. Nice to see you joining. We've already got 79 people who are watching the assembly this morning. So that's great. Now I've got my nine star of the week awards to give out. Starting this week in Bears class. All right. We have got Bonnie in Bears. Bonnie has got her award this week for trying her best at everything she does and even learning some Spanish. Wow, Bonnie. Hola. I think that's as far as my Spanish goes. I'm not entirely sure that I can do much more. My Dutch is good. My German is OK. My Spanish is not as good as it could be. So, Bonnie, when you come back to school, maybe you could teach me a little bit of Spanish. That's from Mrs. Champion and Miss Wilson as well. So fantastic, Bonnie. That's really, really good. Now, the next one for Lions class. This is for Kimberly. Kimberly, well done. You have got this for your amazing science knowledge all about the planets and for making a science video 
demonstrating static electricity. Now, I have to say, I am very curious, Kimberly, to find out about your video about static electricity. I wonder if you've been doing something with a balloon or if you've been making your hair stand on end. OK, I know there's one teacher in Herenshaw that can't make his hair stand on end. I wonder if you can work out who that teacher is. Hmm. Right. My next one. This is for crocodiles class. And crocodiles, the star of the week, is Alex. Well done to Alex for all of his fabulous work, including his Easter cards, partitioning numbers, writing a list of ingredients, and for some flowers for Mrs. Revillius. Wow. That sounds like you've been really busy, Alex. What a long list of things that you've been doing. Mrs. Revillius is really happy with you. So well done, Alex. Okay, we've got our three award winners for foundation. And let's move on to year one next. Let me just see what we've got. We've got some congratulations there. Good mornings. We've got Oliver from Tiger says hello, especially to his tiger friends. Hello to all the giraffes from Emma, missing you all. We've got Samar says hello to Oliver and to Tigers. And Thomas is watching as well, and Zara. We've got lots of people joining us. That's brilliant. Pandas now. We have got Sophie. Sophie in Pandas has learnt to play the guitar and has been trying really hard, tying her shoelaces. Gosh, two very different things. But Sophie, I can't wait. Maybe you could uh, send in a video of you playing the guitar. Or maybe when we're back at school, the first assembly, we could have all these new talents and things that people have learned. We could really showcase that in an assembly at school. So that's brilliant. Well done. Mrs Langford is really, really pleased with that, Sophie. Moving on now to Risha in Tigers. Now, Risha, you've showed a real act of kindness. And Mrs. Beckham was really proud of you, Risha, because you made a birthday card and then you went along and stood in your neighbour's garden. But you didn't get too close. But you stood in your neighbour's garden and you sang happy birthday to your neighbour, who was quite elderly, but didn't have people who could come and visit. So you made sure that you were looking after your neighbour and you did that all on your own. And that was lovely. What a really beautiful idea to go and do that. I think that would be really special. If I was your neighbour, I would be really happy that you came to do that for me. So well done. And I have also got a photo. Now it's quite small, so I shall show you the photo. Here's a little photo of Risha doing one of her really special jobs. Really nice. Well done, Risha. That's beautiful. Okay, now the next one. Leopards class next. Leopards class, the award winner is Harvey, and Harvey has been working really hard on an NHS poster. So the NHS poster that you've done, Harvey, well done. I think I saw a sneaky picture of that as well through the week. So well done, Mrs. Elford and Mr. Ainsgo are really pleased with you for doing that. I think that's brilliant. Now, we've done our year one. Let's move on to year two next. Now... This is somebody else who's been thinking about the NHS in gorillas class. And this person really has worked so, so hard. They've thought of something they can do and how they can raise some money for the NHS. So this is for Adrian. Now, let me explain. Adrian decided that he was going to plant and grow some sunflowers. And he made some posters. And after he'd started to grow the little seedlings of the sunflowers, then he set up a table outside of his house put the pots there, put some posters, made a really, really special table so people could see. And then at the front of his house, he started to raise some money for the NHS. And the money has already started coming in. So Adrian, well done. That's really, really important that you've done that. And I think that people in hospitals and care homes around the country will really appreciate the money that you have been starting to raise. So I think that's really commendable. Well done to Adrian for that. Now. Giraffes next. Harry in Giraffes for all of his amazing creativity projects like his woodwork, his baking, his craft and his painting as well. It really sounds like Mrs Astron has heard about lots and lots of different activities from you. In fact, I'm curious about what it is that you've made out of wood. I'm very curious about what you've been baking, and it's making my tummy rumble a little bit, thinking about some baking this time in the morning. And craft and painting, brilliant. They're the sorts of things that I've been getting up to at home as well. So, Harry, well done for that. That's really good. 
Okay, let me have a quick peek. We've got good morning from Hayda, Harvey. We've got Risha here. So old people saying well done to those as well. We've got Samar and we've got hello, Mr. Ainsgo from Alex in Tigers and Hayda. Hello, everyone from Hayda. Fantastic. That's really nice to see lots of people joining us. Okay. The next one, Zebra's class. We have got Alice in Zebra's for being very helpful and working really hard to look after everyone in her family, making the dinner, washing up, helping in the garden and making artwork as well. Goodness me, Alice, it sounds like you are being very busy at home doing all those different things. And that's really helping to keep everyone in your family feeling happy and safe together. So brilliant. Miss Gunship is really proud of you for that. Wow, I can't believe it. We've got through our nine Star of the Week awards. Now, if you get your Star of the Week awards, then you can look forward to receiving it in the post. The people who got their awards in the first week and the second week have already been mentioning that they have received their certificates in the post. Mrs. Smith, a big thank you to Mrs. Smith, who popped them all in envelopes and got them all sent out to you all really carefully. So with this week's winners, look out in the post over the next week or so because you'll get your certificates as well. Now, I have got lots of other things that teachers want me to mention as well, okay? But before I go through those, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. Now, I'm hoping that technical, technical things will work because I have got a quiz and I'm gonna get my mobile phone and I'm gonna put my mobile phone on and I'm hoping that one of the teachers at Heronshaw is going to call. I'm hoping it's somebody from Herenshaw that calls and not someone who's asking me if I want to buy some insurance. Um, and I'm hoping that the phone will ring any moment from a teacher at Herenshaw. And I have got a quiz with 10 questions that you can join in. Here we go. The phone is ringing. Let's see who we've got answering the phone. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Who have we got here? Mrs. Nichols. Hello, Mrs. Nichols. Now, first, I'm going to see if everyone can hear you through my computer. Okay. So, let's see if somebody can comment if they can hear Mrs. Nichols. Oh, Mrs. Nichols, can you mute my YouTube at your end? Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's, that's a bit technical for me. Let me just find the sound button. Yeah, there we go. I've got it. I've got it. There right. we go. Can you hear people me now? Are, people are saying that they can hear you. Good morning, Mrs. Nichols from Lions Good. Class. Good you morning, are... Lions. I'm Mr. Ainsco and everybody. I have to say, I'm amazed that you were so quick at calling me on your mobile phone. You must have been ready to hit that button, ready for a good quiz. It was almost like someone had tipped me off, wasn't it? <laughs> now, Mrs. Nichols, we're I hope you're... chicken dinner. I hope you are sitting comfortably, and I hope that you're ready for your ten questions. Ten? Oh, yes. Very ready. Okay. Now, if you are sitting at home with mum and dad, children, you can also get a piece of paper. You can get ready with a pen or a pencil and see if you can join in with Mrs Nichols and see how many of these questions you can get right as well. Okay. Ready to go, Mrs Nichols? Question number one. I'm going to go through all the questions and then I will tell you the answers at the end. That gives everyone at home some thinking time as well. Here we go. Question number one, Mrs. Nichols. How many Herenshaw values are there? Now I might just need to move slightly to my slightly left. Slightly to the right. Um, shall I answer now? You can, um, <laughs> you can answer now and I will tell you the answers at the end. Okay, I think there are seven Herenshaw values. Oh, you think there are seven? Okay. Yeah. All right. I will let you think about that a little bit later. Oh, the next one. In which year did Herenshaw School open? Um, mm, I do believe, just off the top of my head, because I know the school so well, it may have been 1997. Ooh. Hey, Just a guess. I think you might be on fire this morning, Mrs. Nichols. <laughs> okay, my next question. We've got some people giving their answers already on the screen. Oh, I think I'm not looking. I'm not there looking. There are lots of people who are agreeing with you at the moment. Yay! Okay. Now it can't all be straightforward. The next one is a little bit more tricky. Oh. In which country was I born in? Um, you were born in. 
The Netherlands. Ooh, the Netherlands. Okay. We've also got some people, or oh, more people agreeing on that year with you as well. Okay. Yay. Question number four, Mrs. Nichols. For the last couple of weeks, when Assembly has started, I've been playing one of the songs that we play a lot at school at Heronshaw, and it's called The Power in What? The Power in Me. The Power in Me, you think? Okay, well done. Okay, question number five. Question number five. Um, which author, which author wrote the song, the, so the story, sorry, the stories A Squash and a Squeeze, Stick Man, and The Room on the Broom? I know this, I know this, because she's reading it, isn't she, on the internet? It is Julia Donaldson. Good, good. Okay, now... I hear that some people are Harry Harry Potter experts on my staff. So I have a Harry <laughs> Potter. I've got a Harry Potter question. Yay! Okay. Do you like Harry Potter? I do. Oh, good. Okay. Can you name Harry Potter's two closest friends? But I am going to have to ask you to give me their first name and their surname. <gasps> oh, now I know one of these because he is a fellow ginger. So one is Ronald Weasley, okay. and the other one, who I like to think I'm very similar to because she's so bright, is Hermione Granger. Oh, let's see if people at, people at home are agreeing with you as well. Oh, we've got other people there that have guessed the right country. Oh, right. Well done. Okay, the next one. Now, this is a bit tricky for me to score, but you're going to have to do a little rhyme out loud for us, Mrs Nichols. Can you okay. say the rolling numbers rhyme? Oh, um, badly, because the children teach me this. It is hair and shawl, good as gold, let me see those fingers roll. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. If there's an ending, I don't know it. Oh, very good. I have to say, I'm, I'm in quite impressed, Mrs Nichols, with that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, goodness me, Mrs Nichols, question number eight is all about you. <gasps> wow. So, Mrs Nichols, you sang on our YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago. And I when did. you did your song on the YouTube channel... I want to see if you can guess how many times your video of singing has been viewed. Now, I've got a couple of multiple choice answers here for you. Has okay. your video been watched 287 times? Has it been watched 436 times? Or has it been watched 549 times? Oh. Now, it's been watched 200 and something times by me, but I'm going to go with the middle one. You're going to go with 436? Wishful thinking, yes. <laughs> Hold that thought. Okay, the next one is, the next question is also about our YouTube. So this one, you need to be to the nearest thousand, okay? Oh, How right. many views has our Heronshaw YouTube channel been watched? How many views has it had Ooh. in the last three weeks? Now, is it 3,000, which is pretty amazing? Is it 4,000 or is it 5,000? Oh, now this is a guess. I'm going to go again with the middle answer. I'm a middle child. Middle is the way to go. I'm going with the middle one. You're going to go with 4,000. Okay. Yep. Right, and our final question. Okay, the best bit of government guidance that we've had in the last few weeks is which song should we sing when we wash our hands? We should sing Happy Birthday twice. Oh, I think I might, you might get a bonus point there, Mrs Nichols, for actually saying yes. it twice. Okay, let me have a quick look down. I'm going to go through my answers now for all those people who are watching at home as well who have been joining in. We've got lots of people who are trying to go through all of those answers as well. Okay, here we go. Question one, how many Herenshaw values are there? Well, all of those people at home, hopefully we're looking and can see them behind me. There are seven values. Well done, Mrs. Nichols. 
Heronshaw School, what year did it open? Well, behind me, oh, the answer to that clue, it's 1997. And Yay. In which country was I born in? You were absolutely right, Mrs. Nichols. I was born in the Netherlands. <laughs> How did you know that? Just a lucky guess. Lucky guess. Okay, question number four. The song that we sing at school is The Power in Me. Well done. Very, very good. You got that one correct as well. Question five was about Squash and a Squeeze, Stick Man and Room on a Broom. And you are absolutely right. They were all written by the author, Julia Donaldson. Yay. And then question six was about Harry Potter. Harry Potter's closest friends are absolutely right. Ronald Weasley and Hermione Granger. Are you feeling lucky? You've got six out of six so far. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and the rolling numbers. You did an absolutely superb job. You got that one absolutely right with the rolling numbers. Well done to that. And then question number eight. Mrs. Nichols, you have been singing on the YouTube channel. Have you been contacted by Simon Cowell yet? Oh, I'm hoping for Andrew Lloyd Webber, <laughs> that stage show thing. You guessed that you've been watched 436 times. I have to say, you were not correct on that one. You've oh. been watched 549 times. <gasps> oh, that's even better. It's even better. I point to that anyway. But you got that's the wrong answer. Score. Okay. So, so you've got seven out of eight so far. And then it's okay. to the nearest thousand, our YouTube channel. You said 4,000 views. I have to say that so far in the first three weeks, we have had 5,000 views on wow. our YouTube. There we go. And our final question was about singing. What do we sing when we wash our hands? And you were absolutely right. We sing happy birthday. And because you said twice, I'm going to give you a bonus point for that. Yes. So you get... Nine out of ten, Mrs. Nichols. I'm gonna give you a big Watch round of applause. applause. It's just me. <laughs> it's just me. Mrs. Nichols, have a lovely day. Thank you very much Thank for calling much. in. I shall give I will give everyone away from you. There we go. What a treat. What a treat to have Mrs. Nichols on the phone. I hope you enjoyed that at home as well. Well done. I can see some of you at oh, some of you at home have been joining in, trying to get all of those questions right as well. Now, we are going to finish off with the next part with some wonderful things that the teachers have been saying have been happening across the school. So in Bear's class, Mrs. Champion and Miss Wilson have said that Leah has been trying really hard to solve lots of maths problems and practicing her phonics and letter formation. So they are super proud of you. Max has been very good for keeping busy while mum is working from home. Goodness me, Max, you are really helping there. If your mum's trying to work and you're keeping busy, it makes everybody much, much happier. So well done for that. And then Harrington, I got a really nice email about Harrington because it says here from Miss Wilson that she wanted to share something because she thinks it's amazing. Before we went into lockdown, Harrington from Bears spent a few days making lots of colourful cards and spent all of his pocket money to put together care packages for vulnerable people on the street. This included things like toilet rolls, hand soap, microwave meals and lots more. And then these people asked to pass on a random act of kindness to someone else and to write to them about what they've done. And from lots of these things, more and more people got involved and passed on their own act, random act of kindness to others. And it says in the email that ITV, the television studio, have noticed and they contacted and they said that you were going to be on the news. And I think that might have happened. But, you know, Harrington, I think that is absolutely amazing. I am so proud and your teachers are so proud. That's a wonderful thing to do from you at home. So well done to you, Harrington. I'm amazed with that. That's really, really good. Right. My next one, my next class, Crocs. I can see here that these people have had some birthdays. So we've got um, Ibrahim and Adas and Imani and Jack and all the birthdays. We had some birthdays on the 17th. That's today. We've got birthdays on the 19th and birthdays on the 20th. So happy birthday to all the crocodiles and all the other children in the other classes. If you're celebrating a birthday as well, have a very happy birthday. Even though it might be one of your quieter birthdays, hopefully you can enjoy it with your family and have a really special time. Okay. 
Amanda and Yaya for recording their fantastic reading. Mrs. Revilius was very impressed with that. Super. And moving on, zebras, we have got Bastian. Bastian's been working on his engineering skills to create a crane that was strong enough to hold his scissors. So Bastian, that sounds really quite interesting. Well done for that. Fadil, you have been writing a beautiful and creative acrostic poem all about springtime. Fantastic. And Lenny, Lenny has been learning to ride her bike without stabilizers as well. So well done to Lenny. I saw you in school the other day when you came to collect some food. So that was lovely. You've been working really hard on your cycling. Excellent. Now, tigers, we have got some photos here because Isabella has been making a really beautiful sculpture of a unicorn. So I've got a picture of Isabella's unicorn and here it is. So well done to Isabella. I think that's a beautiful unicorn. Really, really quite delicate. It looks like it took a lot of effort to do. And then Samar. Samar has been busy making models of famous landmarks. I wonder if you can work out which famous landmark that Samar has been making. Hmm, I'm not sure it's the Blackpool Tower. If it's in France, I'm thinking it's somewhere in Paris. And I think potentially, it's the Eiffel Tower, but well done, Samar. I think that's brilliant. Right, Samar. Oh, I've got another one of Samar here. Samar in the garden. What a lovely thing to do. Blowing bubbles there. Having a really, really good time. That's really wonderful. So thank you to Samar's parents for sending that picture in. Love to see that. Okay, where are we up to? Samar and Maya as well. So Maya in Tigers has been really creative and I've got an amazing picture of what she's been busy doing. This is a really nice creative castle that has been made. Fantastic, now that is junk modeling taken to the extreme. I think that's beautiful. Looking really proud. And what's really nice is at the top of it, it had a little flag. Here we are, look at that. I love that, the Heronshaw Castle. I think that's beautiful. I'd love to live in that castle. I'd love to be living there at the top of that tower. I think that would be super. And I've got another thing as well that was made. What a beautiful piece of Easter artwork. Look at that lovely chick, you know, popping out of a lovely egg. I think that's really super. Well done. Okay, now where am I up to? Here we are. Leopards, Connor in Leopards has learned to tell the time and is getting really, really good at his times tables. Well done, Connor, for that. And Freya has been planting some broccoli seeds and they even sprouted within a week. Goodness me, Freya, you must have very green fingers if your broccoli is sprouting so quickly. I wonder how long it takes for broccoli to eat so that we can maybe have some broccoli brought to school that we can look at. And then Lions class. Ellie in Lions class. Mum and Dad sent Mrs Nichols a PowerPoint presentation of all the activities that you've been doing, Ellie. And she, you've been drawing, writing, exploring, and even doing your exercises in the garden. Fantastic. Giraffes class next. Hector. Hector. Oh no, Hector was watching. I saw him say hello a little bit earlier. Hector has been working hard, learning in French. OK, learning his French. And he's been teaching some French over the phone to Mrs. Zastron. Wow, I'm impressed. We've had some Spanish from somebody else. We've got some French as well. All these languages that you can focus on. Elijah as well in giraffe class. Mum sent a video of Elijah reading a story. Well done for working to improve your reading. Mrs. Zastron was so impressed, Elijah. Brilliant. And then finally, we've got some shout outs from gorillas. We've got Ted. Ted had his birthday on the 11th. So happy birthday to Ted and Harrison. Harrison's been doing some amazing maths, very organized with his work folder. Harrison, that sounds really interesting. If you've got all your work kept together in one place, so you're really, really keeping a close eye on everything that you're doing. So well done. And finally, Everly. Everly has been learning to tell the time as well. Now, looking at the time, goodness me, it's half past 10 already. What a nice long assembly we've had this morning. Now, before we finish, I want to say that if you have not taken part in the school competition yet, 
Don't forget, last week I talked about the Glebe Farm development, where the new school that's going to join our family of schools from IFTL is going to be built. Now, you can help to join the competition by designing either part of the school, the whole school, maybe one wall of the school, the entrance. You can really think and be quite creative about what you want to do. All the details about the competition are on our school website as well. So have a look if you want to join in with that. You've got until the 30th of April to take part in that competition. Another from me, a massive thank you to all the people who are watching this morning. Hello to everyone who's sitting at home and watching. Uh, thank you for those people that are sending photos of your children with me on the television screen in the background. It's quite unusual to see me on your screens, but I have to say, I really do enjoy doing my assembly so that you can all be with me together. Um, 5,000 people so far have joined. Please share the videos with your friends. Let's get lots and lots of people watching and following our channel as well. Take care over the next few days and hopefully we'll be in touch soon, all right? So take care, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to watch this morning. Have a lovely day and enjoy the sunshine. Take care, everyone. Keep safe.